The aim of our study was to distinguish the apicultural plants, especially Thibus uh, capitatus, from non-apicultural plants, such as Sacrobotherium spinoso, which is a fast-growing and an aggressive plant. Uh, to do that, we used remote testing techniques for mapping and classification uh, of the apicultural areas. We conducted our study on uh, Limnos Island, which is in the northeast part of uh, the Aegean uh, Sea in Greece. And uh, it's also uh, an island of great apicultural interest, where the expansion of uh, Sacrobotherium spinoso is increasing rapidly. Hello, I'm Maria Prodrojo. I'm a PhD candidate at Cyprus University of Technology, and I'm a researcher at the Rabusen Center of Excellence. I'm Michalis Christoforou. I'm an agriculturist researcher at the Cyprus University of Technology. And uh, within our team, we also had uh, an apiculturist, uh, Dr. Alexandro Papakristoforou, and uh, Dr. Professor Hajimitsis, who is a uh, remote testing specialist. Sios Habitatus is the only forage uh, plant used by honeybees. And uh, its maintenance depends exclusively on the blossom and the nectar flow of thymus. Furthermore, the taste and the aroma of thymus in the honey is highly appreciated uh, by the consumers. Uh, and that's what is making it the most expensive honey in Greece. In order to perform our study, we used the P4 multispectral draw from BJI which give us uh, high-resolution spectral and spatial data. Uh, we choose our flights to be in three different regions in Limnos uh, Island, and uh, the image we acquire, uh, we use them to create orthophotos uh, in DJ Terra software. We process the orthophotos using the Google Earth Engine platform. We upload the orthophotos that derive from the draw, and Furthermore, we have to highlight that in order to identify the band combination, which provides the highest thematic accuracy, we tested different draw band combinations. For example, we made some tests using only the visible bands of the draw, and uh, other test was uh, the visible band and Nyan in combination with the Nyan implant. And also, we calculate some vegetation indices in order to, uh, to enhance the, the performance of the classifiers. And apart from that, we compare the performance of different picture-based supervised classification algorithms in order to identify their reliability uh, in species classification. We evaluated our results through the accuracy assessment. Specifically, we used the 70% of the, the samples to train the algorithms, and the remaining 30% were used for the validation of the algorithm based on the confusion matrix, uh, allowing us to calculate the user accuracy, the producer's accuracy, the gap value, and the score. And also, we evaluated the classification results based on the classifier and the bank combination. Our findings shows that the gradient three boost and the random forest classifier, together with the combination of all bands of the drone and the vegetation indices, is considered ideal for the classification of beekeeping plants, and more specifically for the separation of thymus clavidatus and uh, Sarcopoderium spinosum. Furthermore, we saw that the remote sensing systems have become powerful uh, supporting a novel application in agriculture. During our study, we faced uh, several challenges, such as uh, the optical similarity of the two shrubs. They are both thorny shrubs with the same height, and with similar morphological characteristics. The second challenge was high-speed wind uh, that occurs in uh, the Aegean Islands and especially in uh, the Limnos Island, which goes up to Sigma 4, not allowing us to fly the draw. Since uh, our study managed to separate uh, these two uh, thorny shrubs, and due to the fact that we have UAV implications, we decided to upscale our study and use satellite images with high resolution in order to overcome these implications. Our study may interest several stakeholders, such as the beekeeping industry and uh, the associations, also the Department of the Environment and the Agriculture, 
our future steps include the implementation uh, of uh, this approach on the satellite images in order to identify uh, the changes through time on the distribution of Timus uh, capitatus in Limnosaila, but also in other Mediterranean regions. And uh, we believe that through our study, beekeepers will be able to map and monitor uh, the apicultural areas, separate Timus from other plants, and be able to estimate the honeybee production. 